Canada's medical marijuana laws allow people who are licensed to grow their own crops or have someone else do it for them. Health Canada is supposed to inspect and monitor those growers. But a CBC News investigation has found no records of any inspections. Duncan McHugh has more. There are thousands of Canadians uh, who are licensed to grow medical marijuana. Health Canada has the responsibility to inspect those uh, grow-ups. Uh, but our investigation determined that, that Health Canada has no records of any of their staff ever inspecting any medical marijuana licensees. Um, let me take you back a step. There are over 15,000 uh, individuals who have either a, a personal or a designated uh, license to grow medical marijuana. There are only 15 Health Canada inspectors across the country uh, responsible for inspecting all uh, legal drugs and pharmaceuticals um, in, in Canada. Um, under our access to information request, we received internal emails from Health Canada officials admitting that they, uh, their inspectors really have no enforcement capacity. Uh, obviously, that's a concern for the police. Um, they have limited powers to investigate uh, licensed medical marijuana grow-ups, uh, and they've long doubted Health Canada's ability to, uh, to enforce their own rules. Uh, and in a report uh, that, that we received, uh, an RCMP report, they analyzed 190 cases of medical marijuana abuse uh, at least a third of them involved trafficking marijuana, uh, and, and at least 37 licensees had previous trafficking convictions, uh, although no one with, uh, with drug convictions in, in over the course of 10 years are supposed to get a license at all. Um, so police say there's no question that in some instances, uh, organized crime is, is basically hiding behind the permits uh, to, to sell marijuana illicitly. There's also concern from fire officials uh, uh, about the lack of Health Canada inspections because they're concerned about wiring in the houses of, of the, the personal grow-ups, for example, and, and the fire hazards that may exist. We talked with, with many uh, uh, personal uh, growers who are also concerned uh, that they fear that there's, there's a stigma attached uh, if, if a small number of bad apples, as they put it, are, are abusing the program, and they would like to see Health Canada uh, inspecting uh, grow ops as they're supposed to be doing under the law. And so Health Canada has spent actually the past year uh, crisscrossing the country in consultations about changes to the medical marijuana program. We, we talked with the health minister and she said those changes are coming. Um, as far as they're concerned, they want to eliminate uh, the personal and designated uh, growing licenses in favor of a program that, that would uh, give the medical marijuana growing privileges to industrial uh, small companies. Uh, and then um, uh, people would be able to access it through mail order. Um, she said that would basically eliminate the need for inspections altogether. However, uh, those changes aren't coming around until uh, at least 2014. So in the meantime, it's, it's status quo. Duncan McHugh in Vancouver. Now, our investigation into medical marijuana is certainly generating lots of comments on our website. We've been going through them, and Shannon Martin joins me now with what you are saying. So, Shannon, tell us a little bit about what our viewers are saying. Well, Andrew, as you mentioned, this is certainly one of the most commented, one of the most viewed stories on cbc.ca. Something like 550 comments I just checked before coming up here. So, lots of people talking about this, and it really seems the theme seems to be reignited the debate over legalizing marijuana. So let's get to some of your comments. Right now we'll start with this one. I have an idea how to reform the current medical marijuana regulation. Complete legalization. It is time to legalize and to tax. That coming in from BC. Another one coming in from a viewer from Ottawa. Health Canada only has 15 inspectors. There's no federal oversight in such matters because they do not deem it worth their money. Perhaps they should give provinces control over such matters. A viewer from Toronto writes, legalize it already and end this waste of resources. Billions spent trying to police something that cannot be policed. Millions of people use it and it's been illegal for decades. A viewer from Oakville writes, the entire system should be thrown out and a more progressive system put in its place that is more in tune with the times that we live in. Forget trying to manage the users, it's time to seriously manage the process so that criminals aren't making all that money. So that is just a small sampling for you. If you'd like to win, you can head to cbc.ca. We'll keep tracking the comments for you.